one. So in this video, we'll show you guys how you can be really efficient with certain techniques. We have some minimally invasive techniques that are um, really rapid and atraumatic, um, even on really what would seem like challenging cases. There's still this misconception out, out there that with teeth with no clinical crown, they have to go through this massively invasive uh, general anesthesia with a repulsion, uh, and that those techniques are really outdated uh, at this point by probably two decades. Um, I really wish that universities would quit teaching that and that surgeons would either uh, learn updated techniques or stop, stop doing um, dentistry surgeries altogether and just send them to people that are doing them because the, the, with the means we have now it can be so efficient. So what we'll show you guys is this is what the tooth looks like right here. We'll show you in just a second with the endoscope um, what it looks like. The horse has been sedated in, in, the, in the stocks for about uh, 10 minutes. Here's the time right now, it's 9.36 a.m. We've already done the nerve block, so it's been about 10, in 10 minutes we did the nerve block and then we've got the radiograph. We'll show you now what it looks like on the oral uh, endoscopy. There's no clinical crown, which that can make teeth definitely challenging to extract. Sorry, it's a little blurry here, there we go. So you can see this tooth is broken. There's really nothing to grab a hold of. And then on the radiograph, it was actually trapped. Um, and so that, that definitely makes it challenging. We can see right here how this is, these other teeth have closed in and this is trapped in. So we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it. What we use is we use a hand piece from PC Technic in Germany. A lot of people ask us what we use. And then we use a water cooling system that keeps the burr clean. And we use burrs from equine specialties as sectioning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and section this tooth. Okay, so um, we've got the tooth out. I'm gonna show you guys what the socket looks like here. And now we're gonna take an x-ray. I don't know exactly how long it took, but we'll show you the phone and you can see the, the time that we're not making it up. Uh, everything went really well. And uh, so yeah, we're just gonna take an x-ray and make sure that everything's good. We'll check and see our time. Here's 10.03. Um, you can see there. Okay, so this is a trap tooth with no clinical crown, um, and that's how efficient the extraction was. So this is this is the standard of care, and this is what we need to be able to try and aspire to and, and teach each other. Um, this is faster than a minimally invasive transbuckle approach. It's faster than all other forms, and realistically, it's the the only ver. I would challenge anybody else to get the tooth out in the same amount of time without using segmentation, without causing damage. As far as I'm aware, I believe this is the, the best way and, and if other people have other um, techniques, definitely let me know because I would love to, to learn about them um, so that I can incorporate them into our practice. But as far as from what I've um, learned and experimented with over the years, this is by far the fastest, um, most effective way to do extractions. Sorry, uh, just one more thing. Um, well, two things. You have to kind of forgive us on the editing. These videos are basically live. There's no editing. What you see is what you get. Uh, it's just, uh, so sometimes it's not perfect. The vocabulary is not always perfect. Um, there's little things, but this is really reality as it is. Um, so. Please forgive us for, for that. We're just trying to do the best we can. Um, I, I wanted to come back for a second and show <laughs> the, what the tooth actually looked like. And um, so here's where we cut it in the middle. And then we'll show you guys on the x-ray here um, that we took an x-ray. And there's what it looks like. Everything's very clean. And then just so you know that we didn't go back and do more work or something, it's only 10.08. Um, so again, 
this is uh, you know just one of the many techniques now this isn't the the only technique it's not right in every case um, there's again this is where training and education and experience are really important because there are lots of other techniques that are perfectly applicable at different times uh, and so don't don't get the impression that this is the only thing then the lastly um, we do have a lot of people that watch the videos that don't necessarily know a lot about horses so just so everybody knows the horse is heavily sedated it's still standing but it's very sedated so it's uh, you know it's very relaxed the sedatives do have some painkillers in them we also give them non-steroidal anti-inflammatory painkillers uh, and then the last thing is we also do a, a local nerve block so they don't feel the pain so there's multimodal analgesia um, in effect, so the horse isn't really feeling anything that, that we're doing um, during the procedure. Thanks for following.